DNC media, corporate nationalist allies double down on assault on Georgia democracy. I wrote that title. I'm very, very proud. I like that title. I think it really, it really sums it up. I, if I could get everybody to start referring to these folks as corporate nationalists, I think that would really, that would really help all of us. And by all of us, I mean we pores on the outside looking in that are sick of all of the psychopaths. Just start referring to this whole thing as corporate nationalism. That's what it is. Well, you have corporate nationalism and you have American nationalism, I guess, competing with each other right now. I, I don't know which one is, uh, I don't know. Anyway, these are the headlines for this story from finance.yahoo.com. Delta American Airlines website in experiencing issues. <laughs> I wonder what's going on there because these are Delta American Airlines. These are, uh, are companies that have decided to throw in their considerable international market capital to try to affect the Georgia Democratic process. They have decided that they know what's best for Americans. They are the keepers of morality, and they will assure that we're all moral and proper. Republicans want to make woke corporations pay, literally, for Politico. Now, Politico.com is writing this like it's a bad thing, but what, what, what are you going to do? This is a war. This is a war. I don't, I mean, this is... I mean, this is a in 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 the, in the truest sense of the term, this is a war between kind of uh, competing fascistic. None none of these people are in the truest sense of the term, in the political science sense of the term, fascist. But they're fascistic in that they're seeking to use the corporations. They're seeking to use markets to control human beings, so they that human beings don't understand. Because ultimately, corporations are empowered by by governments. And I'm I'm not I'm not speaking against governments per se. I'm I'm a Romans 13 guy, you know. I, I'm not saying uh, I like governments, but uh, you know I'm I'm I, I know I know my place in the world, and I I believe that uh, I believe in waiting for the Lord and ju vengeance is the Lord's, and I'll do I'll do what Scripture tells me to do, but uh, it still doesn't make me a cheerleader of the whole of the whole process. And and these folks uh, they are seeking to utilize soft tyranny as opposed to direct tyranny. So rather than have a dictator tell us everything that we have to do, they're going to have eight or ten wealthy families uh, that primarily control maybe it's not eight or ten maybe it's 20 uh, wealthy families that primarily control most of the corporate interest in in the land that will use their corporate power which is bas backed by government guns to force us all to comply to whatever new morality want to, to, they want and the republicans are just fighting back within that sphere of course and politico will do what they do which is because they're part of the dnc so They'll they'll say it's 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 heroic for uh, their corporations to use their corporate power to affect political change, but it's not so much for for other people to then use try to use the market in the same way. Attorney General Carr pushes back on Georgia voting law. I don't even care. Delta cancels about a hundred flights, opens some middle seats. This really has to do with Delta's incompetence at getting uh, uh, pilots, but I just think it bears repeating. There, Georgia Governor Knox, CEO. No, Georgia Governor Knox, CEO of one of the state's biggest corporations for passing law. This is another one from, from the left here. And uh, again, the, the indignation that uh, that the corporations would be called out for throwing their hat in the political ring like that. That is undemocratic somehow. Yeah. Good luck. 